Hello friends, how's it going? Today I have the awesome, uh, I think this is called an Arceus Collector Bundle. You can see here that it's got Rowlet, Cyndaquil, and Oshawott, and Arceus on it, so that means that it's mostly just uh, advertising for the Legends Arceus game. But let's take a better look at this with the plastic off. So here's a better look at the box itself. We've got this awesome Arceus artwork on the front, and then on the back we've got these adorable pictures of Cyndaquil, Rowlet, and Oshawott looking so, so cute and happy. And then when you open it up, you see this. So it's basically the idea is that it's very similar to the lunchbox tins that we usually get but now it's made out of paper so it's a little easier to stack and stuff like that. Ooh, and then when you take that top thing out with the promo cards in it you got this little pack slot here. So let's take a look at the promo cards first we've got this Cyndaquil it's so so cute I love the artwork so much and the hollow pattern is not the galaxy foil which I prefer the galaxy foil but it's okay to see this kind as well. Then we've got our adorable Oshawott I love I love all of these artworks so much. You know these cards have a have a different sort of feel to them you can tell maybe a little bit in the camera that the uh the holographic pattern goes all the way through the text and everything so these are like extra shiny looking I don't know if that's on accident or on purpose and then here is the rallet which you can really tell in the camera that's good how shiny these are how, how the holographic goes through the entire card this one even has it kind of looks like the printing didn't go all the way on on the bottom here can you see all those like speckles and things that's kind of hard to see in the camera but I promise they're there but still that makes a very cool effect with with the wavy hollow there then we also get this Arceus coin I really love how sparkly this is it, it has a little bit of a different feel than the other jumbo coins because the background is white instead of black so it makes it really neat looking. Then we have a code card so I'll put on the screen what we get inside this. I believe it'll just be the promo cards and the coin but it actually has the words collector chest on the back so that's kind of more similar to what we'd get inside of the little tin versions of this. Speaking of the tin versions just like the tins we also get these awesome stickers so first up we've got the starters. And then we've got Cyndaquil and Arceus, a little bit of a, a sort of feature for Cyndaquil. I love that. Cyndaquil's my favorite of the three Legends Arceus starters. Then we've got just Arceus by itself, looking very powerful and cool. And then, of course, we have Rowlet and Oshawa to round out the individual stickers. Now, something that's different between the tin collector chest and this sort of papery one is that it comes with a notebook instead of a notepad. And it, the feeling on this is really interesting. I, I don't know if I can actually get... Yeah, I can. Okay. So you can see that's shining off of the light there. There's some sort of like... I don't even know what this is. It feels kind of like, like when you put hot glue on something. It feels kind of like those hot glue strings that come off. I'm not uh, describing it in a very appealing way, but it's interesting to have some sort of text on the cover and then on the inside we've got sort of a black and white version of the little Arceus I don't even know fence anyway it's that sort of pattern but black and white now instead of colorful and then on the back we just have the trading card game logo and then we've got seven packs of Pokemon card goodness for our main event though I don't know if I'd really call this the main event because I like all the extra stuff and all these things I really love that I get stickers and a notepad and all sorts of things I just love all the extra fun stuff oh I'm throwing packs and figures and everything okay so here we go. We've got a Water Energy, a Telescopic Sight, Mightyena, Galarian Stunfisk, Tynamo, Clobopus, Woobat, Taylo, Charmander. We got a Vaporeon Reverse, which is a rare, so that's pretty cool. And then a rare is a Quagsire. I love seeing Quagsire. I got my first Quagsire somewhat recently from Vivid Voltage, so uh, it's still exciting to me to see one. Why can't I let this Charizard stand still? Oh my goodness, I am sorry. All right, so we're on to our second pack of Vivid Voltage. It's kind of funny to see three packs of Vivid Voltage in, in a product that came out so recently, because uh, Vivid Voltage is not really the most recent set anymore. I mean, I love being able to open it, especially because there's Pikachu, uh, uh, sort of potential, but I don't know. So we got a C dot, a Pikapek, Mudbray. Oh, well, we skipped one. Oh, no, we didn't. Okay, <laughs> we got a Jolsek, a Woobat Reverse, and then our bear is a Dustnor Hollow, which is very, very cool. I do enjoy Dustnor. This artwork is very, very nice. Then we got our third pack of Vivid Voltage before we go on to our single pack of Evolving Skies. It's kind of sad to see one pack of Evolving Skies. You'd think that there'd be two of each, but maybe they're just really trying to get rid of Vivid Voltage, which I think is kind of funny because people are going nuts over Vivid Voltage like Elite Trainer Boxes and stuff like that. So here we go. We've got a Lightning Energy, a Dusclops, Opal, Charmeleon, Ninkata, Voltorb, Rockruff, Wismer, Trubbish. We've got a B Reverse, and then our rare is a Galarian Perserker non-holo. You know, I'm really hoping for something holographic here because I haven't opened up a holographic card in quite some time. I've been opening some packs off camera recently uh, just because I, I feel like it, and I get packs occasionally when I'm trying to like meet the uh, 
free shipping threshold on like PokemonCenter.com. Uh, so I'll grab like a couple of packs of Brilliant Stars and uh, I have not gotten a Hollow in a long time. <laughs> so we got a Water Energy, a Braviary, Lucky Ice Pop, Tentacruel, Flabebe, Dwemel, Mareep, Drowsy, Scraggy. We got a Flaffy Reverse, which I love to see. And then a rare. Oh, wow. We got a Zinnia's Re Resolve Full Art. That is so cool. I, uh, I cosplayed Zinnia. I don't even know how long ago that was now. Maybe like five years ago. Jeez. But anyway, I love Zinnia so much. She is such a cool character and it is very amazing to have her Full Art card. Wow. That is so cool. I Every time I see her costume now, I think about how I made that costume and, and then I think about the materials I used and then I just go on a mind spiral about conventions, but Zinnia is such a great character. I love being able to have this card in my collection now. So, so cool. Next up, we got a pack of Fusion Strike, and sorry for the cut there. I needed to resituate all sorts of stuff, and my camera was crooked, and uh, it was just a mess. So now it's less of a mess, and now we've got our Fusion Strike pack to open up. I would love to get a Mew card from this pack. I'm still waiting to, to get any of the Mew cards in this set, uh, but who knows? We might just not get that, and the search will continue. So we got a Volibee, a Dewpiter, we got a Meowth, a Krogunk Reverse, and then our rare is a Deoxys Hollow. All right, that is very cool. Deoxys was the uh, promo card that I got from my Fusion Strike, um, oh my gosh, Build and Battle Kit. And uh, I don't remember if I have gotten the, the regular Deoxys Hollow yet. So that is a pretty cool thing to get. But now we've got our Brilliant Stars packs to open. We got two of them. I know originally I was like, oh yeah, there should be two of each set. But then I realized that there's seven packs. And so that is not an even number. So I guess that is an issue as well. But regardless, we got a Nose Pass, a Dedenne, Cub Chew. We got a Team Yells Cheer Reverse. And then our rare is a Clefable non holo which is very cute. I do love Clefable. I like the, the pool that has Clefable and Clefairy and Legends Arceus. That's, that's really neat. So we got our last pack of Brilliant Stars. Of course, I saved the Charizard pack art for last. We are uh, obviously hoping for some Charizard goodness, but uh, because we got that Zinnia's Resolve full art, I guess I can't really, you know, wish for anything else from this box, though it would be nice. So we've got a Steel Energy, a Sigilyph, Pachirisu, Choice Belt, Sock, Cherubi, Riolu, Starly, Spiritomb, we got this Sock Reverse, and then our final rare is an Alcremi non holo So I think that this was a super fun opening. We got this Vaporeon Reverse rare from Vivid Voltage, our Dust Noir Holo from Vivid Voltage, a couple of very nice Vivid Voltage cards, and finally our Zinnia's Resolve Full Art, which is so, so beautiful. I love it so, so much. I really can't believe that we got a Zinnia card. You know, the one that I'm still really looking forward to uh, maybe trying to get is the, uh, the alternate art that has Zinnia and Rayquaza on it. That would be amazing. Amazing. But anyway, I will give you guys this brilliant stars booster code. Come to let us know what you got so that we know that you've taken it. So thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you all on the flip side.